Frazier from Tactical Advantage Training and first two questions on Facebook. Another product review today is something a little different, something you may not have seen before. Today I'm covering body armor. It's kind of sad that the fire service and EMS has had to turn to this, but with the recent shootings, there's been a bunch of issues with responders getting shot, gunpoint, stabbed. There's a whole host of different reasons why body armor is an option now. So as sad as it is, I'm going to cover safeguardarmor.com. Check them out. Today I'm going to be covering their stealth vest. I have my uniform shirt on so you can kind of see what it looks like underneath. There's no huge difference. This is their stealth. It's lightweight. It's 100% Kevlar armor plates. You can see here it's got the mesh that makes the heat release really well. It's light. It comes in a little over five pounds. You can see it here. It's all Kevlar. I'm going to go into detail on this. Once again, it's a really good option depending on the area you're at. The, the world's getting crazy. That's a fact. So I'm going to go into the details on it and I'll let you check this out up close. All right, guys, I'm going to go into some more detail. As I said before, this is a stealth vest. It's really form fitting because it's got 100% Kevlar panels. These aren't hard. They flex with your body, which make it really form fitting and it's comfortable. Uh, it weighs in about five, just over five pounds, almost five and a half. This vest is a ballistic level two, which means that it's rated at nine millimeter full metal jacket and 357 mag. I don't want to get shot with either one of them, but if it'll stop a 357 mag, it's good for me. It's also stab level one. That, it, that means it exceeds the approved testing, which is in excess of 24 joules. This vest is outfitted with the additional spike protection for needles and spiked objects which to me as a first responder is a real big deal because I'm also a paramedic. So when I'm in the field, you're at any host of locations where you're gonna go to calls, some rough, the chance of you getting stabbed with a needle is fairly high. The chance of you getting stabbed with a knife is fairly high. Those are almost more important to me than the actual ballistic portion of the vest. The inside and the shoulders are a poly netting. That lets the heat escape it's a pretty light material. It feels good and it breathes well. Like I said, it's comfortable, light, low profile. The Velcro is really good. It's got the poly netting all throughout the inside. It's a quick slip over vest. I wore it on shift and not one person noticed that I was wearing this body armor, which is a good thing to me. I don't want to walk around and have everybody know what I'm wearing in certain situations. This may really pay off for you. My life's worth a lot. Um, some of the areas we respond to are below nice to say the least. So this is another option. Keep this in mind from Safeguard Armor, their stealth vest. Thanks again guys for watching the video. If you have any questions for me or you have products you want reviewed, email me at tacticalextrication at live.com. Also check out safeguardarmor.com. They have a whole host of vests for edge protection, ballistic protection, spike protection. They have all different levels. Check them out and thanks again for watching guys. Be safe out there.